Hi there, Halu here. Hey Google fan off. So I just finished a 12 hour session of uh, work sitting at my computer and um, my brain is fried as potatoes, as tempura, as as katsu, as okonomiyaki. I don't know why I'm naming a bunch of Japanese food, I think because <laughs> I had nothing but Japanese food yesterday, but uh, my brain is done. I'm ready for bed. Uh, but just before bed, I figured I would actually do this and decompress a little bit before going to bed because um, I feel that one, my days are just food. I just have food. That's all I really record throughout the day. And then second, I don't even give myself a place to really just decompress my entire day. Yeah, I got up pretty early. Woke around like 7.45 or so, almost 8 o'clock. I set my alarm to 7, but I could not get up. I slept pretty late last night after my Elden Ring session. Got my Yerby and hopped on, started doing some work, and I've just kind of been working throughout the day. And like a lot of these tasks, they take a minute to accomplish because it's just a lot of creating. I feel that if you're at a normal job and you're just doing work, such as like an office job, the tasks are given. But when it comes to a creative job, you are doing a lot of creating and that time can vary. There's no really an estimate of time that you have. Uh, to do something. You just have to tackle each task one at a time and take the time to creatively do whatever you need to create or design or create whatever you need to do, right? So a lot of that time is spent on creating, which does take a minute and has a lot of brain power to it. My day-to-day -day job, which is kind of like mindless drone work um, and can be done in my sleep. With this stuff, it's like physically draining, emotionally draining, and physical because I am sitting on my computer all day. I'm not getting up, I'm not really walking too much. I'm just sitting on my computer all day. My thumb keeps like popping up right here because it's a wide angle, but I'm gonna switch my hand over. It was a pretty like taxing day, but like for me at the end of these sessions, I don't feel too tired actually would love to play some more Elden Ring, but I do have to go work tomorrow, so I'm not gonna be doing that. Um, and I'm gonna go to bed instead and be a good boy. These Mondays kind of, they go hard. They go hard in the motherfucking paint. It's, I think it's all worth it because one, it's stuff I know how to do, and secondly, it's a good uh, compensation for what I need to do. Um, I mean, it's, it's the highest I'm being given for any sort of work right now, so I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. I just wanted to get on here and tell myself, good job today. Good job for staying still, sitting, sitting still and busting through. My head is like not working right now, but good job for sitting through all those hours, accomplishing the work and just thank you. Thank you to myself for doing that for myself. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go to sleep. Anyways, that was a recap of my day. I think I'll be getting up tomorrow morning. I forget whether I'm going to the gym or if I'm gonna be editing tomorrow. Ah, tomorrow is an editing day. Anyways, good night, sleep well, and uh, that's it. Go to, go the f to bed, bye. Good morning, it is Tuesday, March 27th, I think. Is it the 27th today? Oh, it's the 26th. Good morning, it is March 26th today. I am on my way to work. Woke up at five today, worked on the vlog from February 26th until March 3rd. Pretty much more than halfway done, which is a pretty good feeling. And then that only means I have about three more vlogs to catch up on. My goal right now is to catch up on all the vlogs and then work on 3D again in the morning. Um, why I am choosing to do the vlogs instead of 3D is just because that uh, the vlogs are pretty essential to my life now that I've incorporated it in my schedule. 
So I need to be caught up to date with that and I can't let myself fall behind like that again because weeks go by so fast. Weeks go by insanely quick. You go to work every day, you're tired after work so you don't work on things and then you're just like, just day after day goes by so quickly. So it is actually very hard to keep up with any sort of routine like that, let alone doing a vlog. So yes, my plan as for now is to just keep up with the vlogs, catch up to it, then I could go back on my 3D schedule and I will just feel a lot better with everything. Because right now, uh, even though I'm not doing 3D, there's been so many days in the past where I haven't done 3D, but because vlogging is kind of a new thing for me, um, I want to just keep up with it as often as possible so I can build that habit and just be normal or be comfortable doing it every day so that it's kind of coded into my neural system that these things need to be done, there is a schedule to it, and I need to accomplish that. And hopefully, as I catch up to the current week, then I can get back on my 3D schedule and start showcasing the things I make in 3D every week. Because yeah, I do lack in the 3D work as for now because, you know, it's just something I've always done. It's just something I've always lacked in and I really didn't like push myself super hard to try and accomplish modeling something new all the time. Whereas with vlogging, uh, it's new and I kind of have that refresh to it, which allows me to just continue building the habit of creating and working on it and making it a easier system for myself. Basically, as I'm creating these vlogs and as I'm working through all of them, I'm attempting to create a workflow system for myself so that when I do have to edit these vlogs, they come out pretty quickly. Turn out like a whole system so that these can be produced a lot quicker. And eventually, once I get back to modeling, I'm hoping to do the same with that system. I'm having a blast editing these vlogs. I like that now that I'm reaching more of the current moment, that these vlogs are a little bit more familiar to me because when they were like a month and a half behind, it was really, like all the things I was telling myself was so foreign, it was such a different idea and it's, and it's really interesting to see how much one can change in the course of a month. Just not even remembering the things that I've said a month ago. And I'm someone who is uh, very much ever-changing, I'm always growing in different ways, having new ideas, becoming someone different. You can ask anyone that really knows me, I'm never the same for very long. Uh, I'm ultimately the same, like I'm still me, but in terms of what I get into and what I'm doing with my time, changes all the time. So it is, uh, it is crazy to see how much I've changed in just even a month. The things that I said back then don't even apply to today and how I think today. And yeah, I just find that extremely interesting. But yeah, I got up today, worked on the vlog, and then uh, got ready for work. Now I'm headed to work. Today should be a pretty okay day. It's nearing the end of the month. Tonight I plan on going home and working on finishing that vlog. It's almost done. I just gotta do some narration and put the rest of the clips together. But if I am physically and mentally drained, as I was yesterday, then maybe I'll just play some Elden Ring and enjoy my night. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. As of late, I've been a little bit more lenient on myself, not really pushing myself to do any more after work, and that's thanks to my girlfriend who's always like, you just worked a whole day at your job and you wanna work some more? And yeah, it's a little bit overkill. I have forgotten how to enjoy myself, how to have fun, and relax. And a great part of relaxing for me is just playing games and enjoying the rest of the, of the night without having to worry about having to deal or do anything. So yep, today should be a pretty good morning. For dinner, we had spring rolls again. Here's the spread and my creation process. Started off with a wrap, add some rice noodles, fresh iceberg lettuce, some chashu meat, wrap that boy up, dip it in some nook mommy, and chomp time. Good morning, today is March 27th, Wednesday, just a little bit after 7 a.m. Worked out at the gym today, did it chest, and I am incredibly weak. I thought I could use to do like 45s on each side. 
I don't know if the bar itself is heavier than I'm used to, but I remember back in San Francisco, I would do 45s on each side. And I don't know how, I don't know how much the bar weighs itself, but it was just incredibly heavy. I could not do more than like 15 reps of the 35 and I had to take multiple breaks. But either way, it was a good push. And then I went on the chest press. I was just pooped by then and I had to go to the bank. So I left early. All in all, it was a pretty good workout. I got my uh, morning endorphins. Do you get endorphins in when you work out or do you get endorphins out? I'm not too sure about that. But either way, I got my morning workout. I'm feeling pretty awake. I hate when you do like chest press, you're laying down and there's a light just right above you, just spotlight straight on you. And like, you have no choice but to stare at it. So at the end of it, you're just blinded in the center of your vision. You're just big, little, big, big white light just in your vision. So I'm a little blinded right now. Last night was uh, pretty good. I realized that I have to actually ship my old phone out myself. I had two options for a repair. I could either take it to UPS, let them ship it out, and then just have them deal with it. Or I could get a prepackaged label and ship it out myself. And I thought they were gonna send me a prepaid box so that I could do that. But I didn't realize they just gave me the label. So I was just waiting for the box to come. And then I got a text message saying like, oh, we didn't get your box yet. Or we didn't get your delivery yet. I'm like, what? That is why I am currently using my iPhone again. I'm giving it another try. Hopefully it is recording. If it's not, I'm gonna be annoyed. But hopefully this is recording. Um, so I'm gonna go during lunch today to ship it out and uh, hopefully it'll get there and get repaired without any problems because I prefer using that to record myself when I drive and when I eat and whatever I do throughout the day. But last night was good, I uh, was pretty tired. Ended up booking a stay for when we go to Coachella uh, later next month. A lot of places are fully booked out. All the hotels are completely booked out. And so we didn't have a lot of options. I did stay in Joshua Tree before um, while going to Coachella. So I know that the drive isn't too crazy. A little bit under an hour is the location that we uh, chose to stay at. So that's pretty good. Nonetheless, um, glad to get that out of the way. Glad to know that we have accommodation because my goal was, or my plan was to actually just drive to and from the venue from home. And I was like, I could do it. But then now I realize that maybe it's a little bit of a courageous plan. But headed home now, gonna go get ready for work. Today should be a pretty normal day. Nothing too crazy. <laughs> So I was able to just pay off some debt. I really don't think there's any other feeling quite like it when you pay off some debt. I don't know how it feels for other people, but for me, owing money or borrowing money of any sorts is such a lingering, I guess the only word that I could really use is guilty. Like lingering guilt feeling of like, you owe this person money and they're waiting on it. But I know that that is a story that I create for myself in my head, that I'm guilty about it because I have a big issue with feeling guilt. When you pay off debt, it is such a relieving feeling to know that you no longer owe anything to anyone. When I deal with my finances, I never try to make more of an issue for myself I know that there's a lot of people out there that don't have a problem with using their credit card and having positive credit, which means you owe, for long periods of time. For me, it's not like that. I need my balances to always be a zero. I need to be able to pay 
for whatever I need with my credit card to earn the rewards and then immediately pay it off with my debit. That's just how I operate, that's just how I am. A lot of people are okay with doing an auto pay so that they know that it's taken care of every month automatically. But for me, I need to be able to manually go in and change that credit amount to zero because for me, it is such a cathartic feeling knowing that I was able to remove it, remove pretty much a financial tumor on my financial accounts. Be able to just get rid of that debt is always such a good feeling for me, knowing that I don't owe any money, knowing that I'm in good standing with my accounts, knowing that my credit is good, because I understand, I've been building credit since maybe like 2017 or 18, so not that long yet, but to know that my credit is in good standing at a young age, you know, just reaching 30 years old, I know that'll help me a lot in the future, and that's always a goal of mine to keep up with my good credit. In the past, I was tricked into little credit hits, uh, such as like when I went to Kohl's to buy, I don't know, like a belt, and they're like, oh, you can save 15% off, and, and I was like, no, I'm okay, I don't need to sign up. I was like, oh, we can just check your thing real quick. I'm like, oh my God, this guy just won't leave me alone, so I just give him my information, to go and he put out a Kohl's credit card for me and I immediately canceled it because I was like, what the heck, man? Like, really? You're gonna like do that? I didn't know, I was young. That took a little uh, hit on my credit as well as like opening an Amazon card. You know, they always uh, incentivize you with these like sign-up rewards that make you uh, save a little bit on your current purchase, but in the long run, it just hurts your credit having all these accounts open and close, open and close. So, I did take a little hit um, with those uh, actions, but I think all in all, my credit is in pretty good standing, and I'm pretty proud of it because there are just so many people that I do know that have outstanding credit balances. They don't pay it every month, uh, and if they do, they only pay the minimum. That's how they kind of trick you into buying things and spending more. And it's like, oh, you just have to pay the minimum. But in the long run, I think, <laughs> I'm not too sure, but I think that even just paying the minimum, it'll lower your credit score at the end. And so I'm always the type to pay everything fully all at once. Um, if I borrow money or if I uh, owe somebody money, I'm like trying to pay it back almost immediately. If we even go out to lunch, I'm doing the receipt almost within the hour, because I hate owing people money, and I hate it when people owe me money. Especially when I am using my cards for rewards, you know, helping people purchase things that are large amounts of money. I give some leniency, because I don't want to be that guy who's always like, where's my money? And I give them the time that they need to gather the money, but sometimes it's really up to the other person or other party to be just like, yo, when are you going to pay somebody back for what you owe them? You know, sometimes months go by and, and, and you still don't get payment from someone. It's, it's a little like nerve wracking, I would say. Um, it doesn't feel good to have to keep asking the same person like, hey, uh, you know that thing I let you borrow? <laughs> yeah, just being able to pay off my debt was a really good feeling. And especially because it was debt that wasn't mine. Like, I didn't make the purchase. But I assisted with making the purchase because of rewards. And rewards are like... Mm, I love rewards. Rewards are the cherry on top of spending. If you're not maximizing your rewards, if you're not optimizing your credit cards to do you some good, then like, you know, you're missing out. You're missing out on a lot of things. Um, but yeah, just wanted to tune in real quick before work and say that I am currently debt free and it feels amazing. Good afternoon. It is 1.30 p.m. I went to go get some gas. 
before tonight because I am not taking my parents to the airport. Oh no, did I just break my fork? Please tell me I didn't break my fork. Okay, fork intact. Yeah, I'm taking my parents to the airport. They are going to Asia, which they very much well deserve because it's been a while since they've been on a trip. I have uh, three pieces of air fried chicken thigh for lunch. Very simple. That's actually what I had lot to eat last night as well. Um, yeah, from this morning, I woke up in a pretty sh mood. I just didn't feel myself. I wasn't fully awake yet. Um, and like a lot of things didn't go my way yesterday. But I'm feeling better now. I'm feeling better. I did a good amount of work at work to cover myself for the next month. And then um, talked to my other employer as I was getting gas and she was just, had nothing but positive things to say about the work I've been doing for her. So that's always a ego. I don't know if it's ego or what it is. I don't know, like when it comes to compliments, like I can care less if you compliment my looks, but if you tell me like I'm doing a good job with the things that I'm providing you, then that makes me feel really good. And like, that's all I really wanna hear because you know, when you do stuff for people and you do a good job, it makes you feel accomplished. It makes you feel fulfilled. Uh, that's why I always make a good effort to tell people good job and that they're doing well when teaching them something because it feels good. And not only that is like, you should reward people who are understanding the things that you're teaching them. Um, so yeah, I am in a better mood than I was this morning and I am extremely hungry. So I'm gonna get to this lunch. And since I'm in such a good mood and, 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 and I didn't wake up early this morning, I will likely probably work on the vlog tonight. Um, because it's like almost done but like i i was supposed to work on it this morning but i didn't because i didn't wake up because the whole alarm thing but now uh i should be in a pretty okay mood actually i have to take my parents to the airport we'll see how that goes um but i'm gonna get to my lunch because i am starving good morning it is march 29th friday morning I just finished with the gym, did my favorite workout, my triceps, and I feel pretty good today. I actually do feel pretty weak as well because it seems like I can't push lift as much as I used to. At least I'm not exceeding my limits that I did when I was at Planet Fitness. I don't know if it's because the equipment is a little different or I'm using more free weights than I am the machines, but I feel like I'm not pushing as much or as hard. And that's okay because I really just go to the gym to maintain my shape as opposed to build muscle. I think it's more important that I even work out to begin with rather than not work out, right? So even though I'm not pushing as hard, I feel pretty good just going to the gym. Um, and then 15 minutes before now, I just went to the sauna. I feel like the infrared saunas are not that hot compared to the regular sauna, but at my gym, the regular sauna is broken. So I just have to go to the infrared or maybe it's just that particular room that I go in. I don't know if they have different temperature settings or whatever. But apparently, infrared saunas allow your muscles to heal a lot quicker. I'm not sure. But I feel pretty good. I calmed myself down from the past two days. I think the past two days I've been a little bit overwhelmed about money, about the debt that I'm going to be digging myself into. and. Just right now, I decided that I would take a more safe approach to building some capital, and that is to start a e-commerce website for 3D principles. So I think in the next couple of weeks, I will probably start to begin 
building that process out, laying out the blueprint, laying out the blueprint of what I need to do to make that happen. Obviously, I would need to buy a 3D printer, create a website, uh, online store, figure out how the shipping and stuff is going to work out, and build a catalog. Um, and once I do all that, then I'll focus on marketing. I'm thinking about maybe hiring a couple of content creators, video editors, Despite being able to do a lot of that stuff myself, I am quite busy with my full-time job, but nonetheless, I also want to start this on the side. You know, people always talk about starting a side hustle and making it their main business, and I think that's a better objective than day trading because I don't want to borrow money to invest. I. I, I was a little bit cautious about this to begin with, and I think if I do that, then I will have a lot more to lose. Plus, I need to find a way to pay for the course that I'm taking right now first, and I think it would be smart if I could build something for myself, such as a little e-commerce shop, and even make a couple hundred a week or so, um, just to take care of the course's debt first. So I think that's a better solution and even thinking about it has calmed me down a lot more than the previous two days because the past two days I was just researching if it's smart to invest on borrowed money and I feel like I would be taking myself into like an uncut gems sort of situation where Adam Sandler's character just keeps borrowing money to bet and gamble and gamble on hoping, hoping for a payout. And um, it's just not a smart decision. Um, at least it is high, high, high risk with potential high reward. And I don't think that I'm in a place to do such a thing because I don't have a lot of money to begin with. So I think that'll be a better solution for me is to try to build a e-commerce website with this business funding idea and um, you know hopefully just push ads and, and really just try and build something out of it. So I'm feeling a lot better on this Friday morning. Uh, later, as always, we will be going out to lunch with my coworkers. Yeah, I'm excited because we're getting fried chicken. And you know me, I can't get enough of fried chicken. So I'm gonna go home, get ready for work, and I will see you all later. Hello, 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 it is Friday. And usually I'd be going out to eat, but instead I got takeout, so I'm gonna eat in my car. Cause we don't always get the luxury of being alone, especially not at work. I got a nice and crispy chicken sandwich. Yes, from Hay Kitchen. Check that out. And on the side, I've got some French fries. They're not that crispy, but it's pretty good. Not bad. Um, today I worked, hasn't been too bad. Pretty chill. Just trying to get as much work done before the month ends. But um, yeah, the day's going pretty good. It's really cold. It's like freezing inside. But um, outside feels a lot nicer in my car. Cozy and warm. Um, but yeah, I got one more day of work. Last night was pretty cool. I uh, watched some Invincible. That episode was just uh, outstanding. Hilarious, emotional, dramatic, all of it combined. And um, yeah, I cannot wait to watch the next episode. I'm gonna be so sad when it ends, the season ends, and it ends on a cliffhanger as usual. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna get into this lunch, enjoy myself for a little bit, and uh, we shall see what goes on for the rest of the day. Peace. Good afternoon. It is March 30th. 
2024. Currently 1 p.m. and you know that means it's lunch time. Let's get. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty excited because I'm hungry. Um, but work's been pretty chill these past five hours. I've just zoomed by. Very easy. Uh, it's always nice when it rains because like less foot traffic, as I said before. I'm just been. I've just been focused at work, doing my thing watching some Elden Ring lore on YouTube and just listening to it. There's so much to Elden Ring and I kind of want to understand the storyline, but like also it's just so detailed and so much depth, depth, depth. And it's like, it's like Lord of the Rings or like Dune. These stories are so complex and it's like, how can a simple minded individual like myself just even begin to think about something so far out and creative I cannot even imagine um, but anyway today has been a pretty good and chill day I have for lunch some stewed pork that my mom made before she took off it is that check that out mmm yeah and then like, there was also some chicken broth that my sister used to cook this rice. So it's gonna be pretty flavorful and tasty. I'm excited to get into it. Um, worked on the vlog this morning and I'm pretty much done. I just need to put together the transitions and the music um, and pretty much, pretty much done. I think I'll be able to upload it by tonight and then by tomorrow I can start on the other vlog. Um, it feels good to be catching up. I just need to make that gap between one month to, to two weeks to finally like one week. If I could catch up to one week then I'll be perfect and I'll be set. Um, but this week I was a little behind because I didn't wake up that one day. Uh, but besides that I'm feeling pretty good today. I'm feeling pretty uh, um, calm feeling calm and I'm feeling uh, productive so it's a good day so far and uh, hopefully we are going to end it just as well so time to eat catch y'all later later that night my girlfriend had been craving steak so we decided to have dinner together I went home and cooked up a steak with some angel hair pasta and we devoured away as we watched an episode of Invincible <laughs> Good afternoon, it is March 31st, 2024, just a little bit over noon. I just finished with my gym session, today we worked on biceps. I felt a little stronger, I was able to kind of just push myself a little bit more. Felt really good, it felt really good to be able to pump some iron. It sounds ridiculous. After that I went to the sauna, uh, I realized that for the infrared saunas, there is three rooms. There's one with the green light and two with the red light. I didn't realize until now that the red light one is a lot hotter. And I've been going to the green light one because it's empty. No wonder it's empty. It doesn't feel that good. Went to the red light one and it felt amazing. I feel very relaxed. I feel very uh, pumped up, energetic. I feel pretty good this uh, Sunday afternoon. I'm gonna head over to my cousin's house. They're doing a little Easter egg hunt for the children. I'm gonna go leech on some food, see what they got over there. But I'm stinky, my clothes are stinky, so after that, I'm gonna go home, shower, wash my clothes, and get to finishing the vlog. It's pretty much done. From the last week of February to the start of March, it's pretty much done. I just gotta like put together the transitions and it's good to go. Then I will be starting on the, what, half week of March, first, second week of March. But it's already April tomorrow. When am I ever gonna catch up to the month? Who knows? Either way, I feel pretty good about it. I'm doing it. It doesn't matter that it's coming out late. There's nobody really waiting on it. So I feel good that I'm doing it. But I gotta do it quick because when am I ever gonna catch up on my 3D work? Who knows? We'll see how it goes. But yes, that's on the agenda for this Sunday. 
It was so fun to see my nieces and nephews gathered for an egg hunt. My older sisters and cousins have always been good at creating events for their little ones, including myself and my younger cousins when I was little. I find it so important for kids to have a real childhood and partake in holidays as best as possible. As I got older, celebrating holidays just slowly faded and all I have are the memories of these gatherings. So it takes me back to see the next generation of our family being excited about getting together with their family. Get it, get it, get it. Go, go, go. All this, Winston, all the eggs. Hurry, hurry. <laughs> After all the fun, I went home and finished the vlog. I try my best on my days off to get as much personal work done, whether that be vlogging or 3D work. Sundays are important for me to do what I enjoy most and that's creative work of any kind. During the week, it's hard for me to imagine that I could create for a living, but once I put effort into these videos, I fulfill my purpose as a creator. So even though these weekdays are boring and nothing but of me talking to the camera and sharing my thoughts, it's these moments here that make it worth it. This video was a bit longer, but thank you for sticking till the end and taking a peek into my life. I'm glad that you're here and part of this journey and would love for you to stay. That's it for this video, Halu at you later. Oh, and also here was my steak and eel dinner. Okay, bye now.